Hey guys, so today we're gonna learn how um, how to install Backtrack 5 onto a USB thumb drive so you can boot it or install it onto another machine. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is go to the Backtrack site and we are going to download what version we want to use. Now this is probably gonna take a while depending on your internet connection so I'm going to skip that part because it takes so long but I'm and I'm just gonna assume that you know how to download it and save it uh, it's usually best to save it on your desktop but anyways these are usually what I'm gonna do we don't want a VMware image we want an ISO because we're gonna be booting it from another device we're not gonna be making a virtual machine um, and so get whatever you want and then click the download I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to discard that uh, and then, okay, so cancel. For me, you would download you would download the file. Uh, next thing we need to do is we need to download Unet Bootin. So just do a Google search search for it. Uh, this is the software we're going to use to write the operating system to our USB thumb drive. So go ahead and download it for Windows. Install it. And do all that stuff. Um, it's it's fairly easy to do. Don't just wait for this. Don't click that. Uh, save the file and run it or install it, whatever whatever works for you. Okay, so once you have that installed, get this out of here. Um, you're gonna insert your thumb drive. Um, and it should come up on here. Maybe you should insert your thumb drive before you start UNET booting. Okay, and so it's going to show up down here. Uh, you're going to pick the drive you want to install it on. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go up here and click Backtrack for a distribution. The latest is 4F, but it'll work. It doesn't matter if you're using 5, R1, or 5. Um, and then we're going to click ISO, and then we're going to look for our, uh, our disk image, which should be anywhere you saved it to mine's on my desktop uh, and then we're gonna hit OK I've already done this just so it's a little quicker on the video uh, it, it'll probably take around five to seven minutes to actually install but just go ahead and hit OK and that'll that'll install everything on your on your U drive and now we're gonna switch to the camera and I'll show you guys how to do it for the other machine <laughs> 